everyone. Welcome back to Cover to Cover with Jay and Jay. I'm Jalen. And I'm John. And this is the show where we talk about all the things you want to learn about the marching arts. So today on this episode, we have our first twirler. We have with us Lexi Duda. Uh, Lexi has won multiple national and world champion awards. Uh, she has twirled over the world, competing in teaching all over the U.S. and Europe. Uh, a recent University of Maryland graduate with a bachelor's in broadcast journalism. Uh, Lexi now works for, for Fox 45 News as a news editor. Wow. Uh, the last four years, she is also the feature twirler uh, with the Mighty Sound of Maryland at the University of Maryland. Lexi is part of the CBDNA Intercollegiate Marching Band Virtual Performance, and she is here to talk to us a little bit about it and what she... I messed up. I saw we, I saw we, it's, I, that's what it's like to be. Okay, got it, sorry. Get at you, just start right at your sex. Mm -hmm. Lexi is part of the CBDNA Intercollegiate Marching Band Virtual Performance, and she is here to talk to us a little bit about that and what it's like to be a world champion twirler. Before we bring out Lexi, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get all the notifications for all the news and all our new series. Chris Marr over at Inside the Shot has been getting out some great interviews with some really cool guests, so go check that out. Yeah, uh, so as many of you know, CBDNA and GPG Music in conjunction with Stop Plus, Half Time Magazine, CollegeMarching.com, Guard Closet, and Fan Rays are bringing together college and university marching bands from all over the country into one massive virtual performance. Um, to date, well over 100 bands across the country are participating. Wow, that's a lot of bands. Mm -hmm. So to keep up with all the news for this amazing project, go and sub subscribe to youtube.com slash style plus band for all the content. So let's bring out Lexi. <laughs> We got it. Hello. Oh my God, it's so nice to have you. It's yes. awesome to be here. I'm so excited. <laughs> we are so excited to talk everything that we have going on with you and social media deep dives and everything, but I'll let Jonathan start with our first question. Yes, so we do this with all of our guests. We just give them a quick allotted slot, time slot to give us 20 seconds of your origin story. So from the beginning to where you are now. Okay, well, um, I grew up being a competitive baton twirler here in Maryland with my team, Wheaton Dance World Teams. Um, I've competed individually and on a team basically the last 21 years. Um, I'm a recent graduate of University of Maryland, graduated with a bachelor's in broadcast journalism, and now I work for Fox 45 in Baltimore as a news editor and still wow. coach, too. <laughs> awesome. Wow. That is great. I love that. Um, <laughs> so I have a question for you, and it's kind of being about um, being a world champion twirler. Can you kind of talk about the football games you performed at, what that entails, and kind of your journey in um, the life of a twirler? <laughs> yeah, of course. So the first time I got to compete internationally was in 2009. I was actually eight. So um, that was my first international contest. Wow. I was able to compete in four different events, which was awesome. And I was lucky enough to walk away with three gold medals my first time. So, and one silver. So that was pretty awesome. And then Snap at eight? There... I could barely like, <laughs> hold on, look out. I know. <laughs> I was like, wow, what? Really? <laughs> Um, so I'm growing older. I've, I've still kept with baton, obviously, and I just kept pushing myself and my teammates kept pushing me and my coaches kept pushing me in the best possible way. And I was lucky enough to go to quite a few more world championships um, along the way. And the last one I competed at was actually three years ago at this point, I believe. Yeah, um, and I did three individual events and three team events, and we ended up walking, all, or I did three team events, but our team competed in four team events, and we won all of them, so that was pretty awesome. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, definitely was unimaginable, but it was awesome. Um, and twirling in college is completely different than competitive twirling, and I love both of them so, so much in completely different ways. Um, <laughs> twirling on a field is, definitely it's a cool atmosphere because like you just get to weave in and out of the band it's mm -hmm. a lot more like individualized than like competitions or anything like that and you're out there more to like entertain than anything else and just to be a new unique thing for the 
people to see besides flags and dancers and and um, the band, there's a lot less of you most times than there is of anybody else. <laughs> um, so I, I love doing that the last four years. It was amazing. I got to try some basketball games too, which was really cool. So everything about Maryland, I've fallen in love with even more because of twirling. <laughs> I love that. that That's so cool. Great. Yes. And the difference so. is, is, is interesting. The difference between the yeah. two. You kind of got a little bit of both, but go ahead, John. <laughs> Good. So um, today, uh, today, Tell us about being a feature twirler in a large marching band. I know you kind of just said it, but like kind of go um, talk about a little bit more about it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool because so for me, when I started out as a feature twirler at Maryland, I was the only one. So there was nobody else there. And so a lot of times we break off into sectionals during practice and everything like that. Um, and at the time, obviously, it's only me. So I can't really break up into sectionals more than me. So um, it was kind of cool because I got to interact with a lot of different people in the band, a lot of different sections, which I think if I would had other people there starting, I wouldn't necessarily been able to branch out as much because I would have wanted to be with my friends and the twirlers and us, yeah. you know, come up with cool, unique baton tricks all the time. So um, instead, I got to play with the drum majors. So we we. I taught them how to twirl, which is a lot of fun. And <laughs> we tried to like create tricks that kind of combined both, like all of our interests. So there's a lot of times where we, I've like either juggled with my two or three batons and their mace and kind of done stuff like that. Or like they've lifted me up on their shoulders and I've juggled standing on their shoulders. Or one wow. of the times I tossed the baton up and over their head and they spun me around and I caught it. So like stuff like that is so awesome. So it's like another big family on campus that yeah. definitely made the transition a lot easier going into college. Wow, awesome. that is so cool. Yeah, uh, so for transitioning into this big project that you're about to work on, uh, mm -hmm. you are one of the choreographers of the CBDNA Inter Intercollegiate Marching Band, sorry. Um, <laughs> how is that going? I'm so excited. I started to work on it some and I'm just, it's a really cool opportunity to bring twirlers from across the nation together because yeah. one thing in college marching is like, if you're in a band anywhere across the US, you instantly bond with people differently because yeah. also like you'll just run into somebody and they're like, hey, do you know the person that goes there? And then you're like instantly excited because you're like, well, yeah, I probably <laughs> do. <laughs> At least one person that goes there. So it's kind of cool. like bringing that all together, especially in a time like we're in, that we're still able to do that and in a completely different way that the opportunity probably wouldn't have presented itself as much if we kind of haven't gone through the last year that we have. So it's, it's yeah. really cool to expand on those horizons. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is. Well, I love hearing about that. I'm super excited to see the whole project unfold and kind of go virtual, but um, it's definitely something our viewers and everyone can look forward to but i kind of want to switch gears into our social media we kind of go through your social media and i got to pick this time john usually does but i got to pick this time and um we have three pictures here and once you see it you can kind of tell us a little bit about it so our first picture we got going on is you with all the money with wow all the money. tell us a little bit about that um so that was the uh nationals um i believe in 2017 i think it was yeah 2017 nationals um i won the national collegiate championship so it's kind of like a routine that we would do um at a halftime game at basketball or anything like that so that was actually like a throwback picture. Um, my the person in the picture next to me is like my one of my best friends in baton twirling that won the title a couple years before me. Wow. So we were kind of like looking like, hey, like we both like both of us are gonna be on here, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a, a different experience because I got to bring my love for collegiate twirling and competitive twirling together for the first time, like on a national floor. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it looked by your reaction very, very well done. But, yeah, um, yeah. I, we have another photo that, or I have another photo that I picked out. <laughs> I love yeah. this photo. And I saw the location was the University of Notre Dame, but I know you went to Maryland. So you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so Nationals every year for that same organization um, is at the University of Notre Dame. Um, been there since I've 
before that I was born, basically. And so I've been in Ash- at University of Notre Dame at Nationals every single year. Um, that picture was after I won the Teenage Miss Major of America title. Um, so we took pictures after that, and that was really exciting and everything. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> the Nationals is always there. Um, it's my favorite thing that I look forward to every year, yes. getting to see all my friends Beautiful again. too. That picture yeah. is so awesome. <laughs> it is cool. <laughs> great. <laughs> um, so I think our last and final photo is the most adorable, but <laughs> can you tell us a little about this one? So <laughs> um, So that picture was from a University of Maryland football game this past, well, I guess a year ago at this point. Um, and it's a high school band day. And we haven't had high school band day with twirlers being able to come for a couple of years. So it was really cool how we had about 20 or 30 twirlers come this past year. Um, And those two girls actually are on the team that I've grown up on. Um, Mm -hmm. So they came to the band day and a lot of other girls did for my team just to kind of like support Maryland and support twirling on the field so they could get a feel for twirling on the field for hopefully, you know, not too far down the road when they get to twirling college. (laughs) So awesome. I I kind of could tell a little bit, but I was, because I grew grew up on a dance team. So like you always, the little babies that are on the team, you love coming back and seeing them. So it was so, so cute. Um, (laughs) That was adorable. Um, another part of our episode that we do for our thumbnail for our cover of our YouTube, we do um, three, two, one pose. So we just had Michael on, and he had a good pose. But I think you can you could probably oh, talk no. it. Okay. But, um, <laughs> on the count of three, you just have to do whatever pose you would like. They vary. Okay. Every guest varies. Any? Okay. Yeah. Any vary? Okay. Any. All right. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, okay. three. Cute. Ooh. So <laughs> good. <laughs> So good. Um, Lex, thank you so much for coming on. It was so awesome meeting you, but I think John is going to wrap it up for us. <laughs> thank you again so much for, uh, for coming on to the show and talking to us. It was great listening to your story. It was very impressive. Um, so everybody who's watching right now, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Style Plus Band. Then after you do that, go to Instagram, follow us at Style Plus underscore Band. Then go over to Lexi's Instagram at Lexi underscore Duda and follow her. She's great. You'll you'll love all the pictures. All the pictures are so good. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming. We'll see everyone next week. Bye. 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 Bye.